Hi guys, have surely ever seen a cat with her eyes glow in the dark? So it makes fear, doesn't it? Especially when her eyes look at you. In fact, many people related the glowing of cat's eyes in the dark places with mystical stuff, a kind of horror. Nowadays, we can easily find cats at our surrounding, whether at home, office, or even at the street. Cat is the most familiar animal with the human, whether it's pet cat or a stray cat. And did you know why the cat's eyes can glow in the dark? So, the cat's eyes illuminate when the dark condition happen due to the light entering the eyes. The light will be reflecting what is called or called the tapetum lucidium. Tapetum lucidium is a Latin language which means the shine layer. Cat have reflective cells or tapetums in the retina. It will increase the amount of light for night vision. And this light is what we see in cat's eyes when it's glow in the dark. According to research by Colorado State Universities, the eyes of animals that have the lucidium tapetum helping them to see better in the dark. That is why cat can run without a crash even on the dark. Other research conducted by Science Direct in 2018 reported that the light from a cat's eyes can be a variety of colors, starting from blue, green, to yellow. This capability will allow the cat to detect changes in light and movement that will help them for hunting in the dark. It is really amazing! We are well known for this animal, the giraffe, the tallest animal in the world, or to be exact, the animal with the longest neck. To us, giraffes look as a sweetie, long-necked animals. But who thought? These animals actually have a high blood pressure. Why is the same as humans? As a fact, even though you have a high blood pressure, the giraffe doesn't have health problems like headache, stroke, or heart attacks that are common for humans with high blood pressure disease. How could that be? Why do the giraffe have high blood pressure? It relates with the length of this animal's neck. As we know that a giraffe's neck can reach 6 meters high. The significant height of the giraffe's head makes the challenges and therefore need a strong heart to pump blood against the gravity. If a large mammal has a blood pressure of 110 per 70, the giraffe needs a blood pressure 220 per 180. What a fantastic fact, isn't it? If this happened to humans, it will turn to brain death or immediately a heart failure. But why don't that happen to the giraffe? Anyone knows? In the world of medicine, humans who have chronic high blood or hypertension will cause thickness in the heart muscle or ventricle. As the knowledge, left ventricular heart will be become thicker, become stiff and unable to fill blood that brings oxygen. As a result, for those who have had a stroke, it will lead to a heart failure with the symptoms are getting tired quickly and out of breath. Then, does the same thing happen to a giraffe that also has hypertension? Yes, that's right. Giraffes also have thick ventricles. But even thickened, the ventricles are not stiff, even it's to remain flexible. A study for evolution biology from UCLA and Harvard University found five gene mutations that linked with the ventricles. This gene mutation causes the biological adaptation of the giraffe's ventricles flexibility and can flow the blood quickly and profusely. So, don't be surprised if a giraffe can still even run fast without worrying a heart failure. strong animals relative to their sizes. We can put that one title to the small ant guys. Although the size of the body is small, these ants can be one of the strongest animal in the world because they are able to lift 50 times their weight. So don't be surprised if we see a colony of ants walking, there are a lot of things that look bigger than the ants body itself. But how is the explanation? Their body is small, but how do they have a strong power? Ants are the insects that are lying around the ground. In life, ants always live in colony like bees. Any food found, it will be carried to their nest to consume with the colony. 
Frequently, we see the foot or objects is very big covering the ant's body. Is that strong in muscles? Stronger than human muscles that can live anyway? In 2014, researchers from Ohio State University collect the behavior of ants that can live heavy loads multiple times than their weight. In that research, ants are known to have an incredible mechanical system in their body. The muscles of ants are not the same powerful compared than human muscles or other animals' muscles bigger. Ants become strong because of its small and very light scale of bodies. Additionally, in the exoskeleton or external framework of the ant, its muscles shouldn't provide a lot of support to any of their movement. This makes the ant's muscle function better, proportional, and efficient, so that makes all free to use. All of it's trying to lift any load, including the weight than his body. The strength of the ant in lifting loads 10 times multiple than his body can only be defeated by rhinoceros beetles. This beetle is able to support loads with a weight of 850 times its own body. And guys, look, a latest study published in the Journal of Nature Communications when lifting weights while relying on their muscle strength and colony also follow the direction of an ant that actually as a constructional form in ants. In one experiment, a group of ants that usually consists of 12 or more will work to follow the direction of a form in ant that oversees the transporting food or objects. If the form in ant feels that any member of his group is weak or in the wrong direction, the form in ant will give a sign to other members to replace the positions of the weak ant. Research results shows that the steering foremen usually have weaker muscle strength than the others, but have a good knowledge to cross path when carrying load or food to the nest. Wow, exactly the same as humans! This bird is commonly misunderstood. Many people take a negative feel to this bird. As for an extent, it's being linked to advertisements like death or something mystic. Probably because it is called an owl. So, it is always associated with something mystic. In Indonesia, this bird is called burung hantu or ghost bird because it is active at night. But in fact, not all of them active at night. Based on World Atlas, owl's population spread to all over the world except in Antarctica and some part in Greenland. Owl have about 250 types. Each type has a different shape, size, and color. Owl is categorized as carnivores. Believed, owl had existed since ancient year. The finding of the Ojibwe fossil, which is the oldest owl that have been recognized since 61 million years ago in Colorado, United States. Not all owl hunt food at night. There are some kind of owl that active during the daytime. Oh my god! Will this name change? Ghosts are commonly active at night. The owl who active at daytime are called diurnal behavior. The example type of owl with diurnal behavior are great gray owl or streak nebulosa. Nord Eagle Owl, Cernia Ululuhan, and Dwarf Nord Owl, Glaucidium Noma. The diurnal type of owl usually adapt to its prey or food chain. Some of the prey of this diurnal owl, like a singer bird or small mammal, are active at daytime. Therefore, the owl need to be adapt on it. Another fact that can be understand from the diurnal owl because they are close friends with the eagles that are also diurnal. Just look at their faces, it's look alike. <laughs> Just like a cat that has dark sight at night, owl also have binocular vision that helps owl know how distances to reach their prey. Owl can focus their eyes to see at long distance very quickly. They can even enlarge rats by 200 yards. Yet, the structure of the owl size is very unique and different from most other types of bird. They have tubes like eyes that are supported by the sclerotic rings. 
the structure that create inability to move or turn the eyes. In addition, the big eyes of the owl can make it see clearly, even happen with very little light. Some types of owl, like Tony, can even see light a hundred times brighter than human eyes. If someone thinks an owl can't see well at night, that is not completely true. Owl's eyes are adjustable to the amount of light and be absorbed. Their pupil will widely open at night and close at noon. This is what happened to the nocturnal owl. Owls have three eyelids, one for blinking, number two for sleeping, and the other one for keeping the eyes safe. All these layers protect the owl's eye cell that are sensitive to the sunlight. Similar with cat's eyes that glowing with the tapetum lucidium, owl's eyes also have it. Owl also being known that can turn its head up to 360 degree. While it is not entirely correct, what is true? Its neck can only rotate up to 135 degrees from two directions with a total turn of 270 degrees. With this capability, an owl can see their own backside. This specificity was gifted because the tube type owl size can't be rotated and also these animals have 14 rear neck bones or twice than any ordinary bird has only 7 neck bone. It is intelligent, also smart. Complete already for this specification for this sea animal. Yes, it is octopus that also known to have incredible intelligence. Even that is one of the smartest animals in the world. And how does this happen? Octopuses are mollusks from the class of Cephalopoda, the feet of animals that connect on the head, of the order of the octopods. Coral reefs all over the ocean become the main habitat of this animal. Octopuses have eight arms, not tentacles, with suction organs in the form of concave circle on the arms that are being used for walking and prey catching. Octopuses have no shells for protection on the outside and have no internal shells or bones like cuttlefish and squid. The only hardest part of the octopus are the jaws for killing prey and beating it into small pieces. A highly flexible body allows the octopus for tuning in in the very narrow crevices of rock at the sea floor. Octopuses have a relatively short lifespan and some of species only live for 6 months. And the longest such as the North Pacific giant octopus that can weigh up to 40 kilograms can live up to 5 years. The main reason that makes an octopus life shortly is reproduction. Male octopus can only live a few months after marriage and female octopus die not long after eggs laying. The dad appears as a worthy of octopus on his eggs until he continues to keep them even though he don't find for food. That he does for one month more time until the eggs hatch. Back to the intelligence of the octopus. Remember the past 2010 World Cup moment when the name of Paul was so famous for successful gassing 8 matches? It could be a luck, but outside that factor, octopuses are known as intelligent animals. But where does that intelligence come from? Roy Caldwell, a professor of integrated biology at the University of California, Berkeley, United States recognized the intelligence of these animals after finding an Abdopus aculatus type of octopus lost from his tank in the laboratory and found it hidden on the female octopus tank. The way octopus moved among tanks as being quoted by Leaf Science, showing the incredible ability of the eight tentacles animal to learn for escaping by learning about the laboratory tank environment. But where does that intelligence come from? Octopus have a lot of nerves, up to 500 million. But nerves are not an indicator of intelligence itself alone. Octopus are considered as a flexible animals because of the ability to learn from past experience. 
most of the octopus nerves are not in the brain, but its neural network to its tentacles, which are used to move or control the appearance of their skin. The nerves are also used to do planning. According to Jennifer Mather, professor at the Department of Psychology, Lethbridge University in Alberta, Canada, who studied octopuses since the 1980s, Octopus uses its environment information to make the respond. Octopuses are able to make observations and behave based on this observation. For example, Octopus Amphioctopus marginatus that able to carry coconuts and open coconut shells and hide inside them. Octopuses are well known to be able to explore their surrounding and find out what's going on and how it's work. Octopus also always play with objects. Other than having nerve in his tentacles, the octopus has nine brains in his body. So, no surprise if these sea animals are very intelligent and expert to escape when trapped. Octopuses have the most largest brain with 130 million neurons, but 60% of octopus neurons are not located in the brain but in the arms or tentacles, which can also grow after being cut. Another uniqueness from the octopus, this animal have true blue blood. The actual reason behind squid and octopus blood become blue is simple evolution. Octopus, squid, and some other invertebrates using hemoglobin protein that depend on caprum to get oxygen. Different with humans that use parum to get oxygen. As a result, a color change occurs and results in the blue color of their blood. Hemoshenin playing an important role in the adaptation of squids and occupies to their environment. One of the most dreamed character when looking for a partner is the faithfulness. Not only humans, animal can also be faithful with his partner too. One of the faithful animal is crocodiles, which in Indonesia is being used as a term of unfaithful men or frequently changing partners, whom is commonly referred to as a land crocodile. Ten years of research published in the Journal of Molecular Ecology reveals that 70% of female crocodiles choose to stay with their partners, often for years. The research was performed by a team of scientists from the Savannah River Ecology Laboratory, University of Georgia University, United States. Published paper title, Multi-Year, Multiple Paternity and Mate Fidelity in the American Alligator. Alligator Mississippiensis that published in Molecular Ecology Q1 Journal year 2009. The team led by Stacy Lenz spent 10 years researching the married system of the crocodiles that live at the Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge RWR in Louisiana. Rockefeller Wildlife Rawaba Refuge is a swamp that being used for wildlife research. Many of studies conducted for RWR for swamp management and research on crocodile. Even though female crocodiles at RWR move freely through the male crocodile's territory and there is a high chance to a marriage, this research reveals that many crocodiles choose to match the same partners for almost 10 years. This is the first evidence of fitness to a partner in specific crocodile. It is done by marking the same crocodile pairs that breed it together in 1997, it will be together in 2009. Other than crocodile, there are some other animals known to be faithful or perform monogamy until their partners die. Some of the animals included gooses, dogs, penguins, bald eagle, parkit bird, and termites. Guys, the crocodile loyalty in marriage even belief in the Batawinus in Indonesia. Even though the name of crocodile is frequently misinterpreted with the presumption of unfaithfulness, as part of marriage in Batawinus, they will provide crocodile look like bread. This crocodile look like bread has also been reviewed in a paper title, Crocodile Bread as a Ceremonial Marriage Food, Symbolism for the Batawi Ethnic Group study case in Setu Babakan. According to that research, 
Crocodile bread is a symbol of loyalty because crocodiles are monogamy reptiles, female partner with the same life partner, and have long life nests. The philosophical meanings contained in crocodile bread are the loyalty of a partner through the generation of children and grandchildren and have permanent place. Crocodiles are brave animals and they can live into wood, land, and water. Crocodile bread will be a symbol for resilience and ability to survive everywhere. Wow, it's happily ever after! Could be, many of us are often asked why never zebra become an animal board and supporting human transportation? Aren't zebras like a horse and run strong? But why are humans never breeding zebras as boarding animals? Zebra, which is still one of family equidae and one genus accused with donkey and horse, until this day, it still never can be tamed. Many attempts to tame zebra to become farm animal, but everything fails. At 19th century, few of zebra captured and forced to pull a carriage or being ride by a human like a horse. But still, the zebra can be tamed and at any time, the zebra can be against like they don't know to human being. As a result of time, various ways to tame zebra begin to be left it. This animal remained a wild in Africa. On the other hand, research found mammals such as pig, cow, goats, sheep, donkey, buffalo, and horse have been a tame animals that considered as farm animal pet and riding animals. Domestication for taming of horse help human for transportation, military vehicles, and for sports. The most acceptable answer from hard behavior of zebra was due to a natural selection. Zebra and horse are diverse from the same ancient about 4 until 4.7 million years ago. Each adapt to the unique environment. After farm culture began, 12,000 years ago, the wild horses in North America and Europe are being hunted and farmed as farm animals for consumption, so slowly the horse become adapt with the humans. This is why humans encouraged to try to tame it by breeding the most tamable horse to be used to help humans to manage soil. Also, as a transportation tool, up to become military tools at that time, but not like wild horses in America, Europe, and Asia, zebras in the open Africa savanna have so many predators like a lion, cheetah that run so fast, deadly crocodiles or hyena that commonly attack in groups. Nature situation that makes the zebra extremely reactive to any small hazard sign. Zebra get very impulsive and hard to be captured. Even though the size is like a pony, in some incident, the zebra successfully kill a lion that attacked him with only one back feet. Other than hazardous relax, zebra is also known to bite. The research conducted by Jared Diamond at Nature Journal revealed that European horse breeder had been living in South Africa at year of 1,600 and trying to tame the zebra. This effort was no longer done within some centuries after because zebra didn't hesitate to bite people whom trying to tame it and not remove it until the person died. This makes the zebra is being acknowledged to create more accident to zookeeper compare with tiger or another carnivora. Zebra also have drowned reflex which highly resist captured with lasso or other methods. In addition, Zebra does not have a family structure and no social hierarchy, unlike wild horses that have more structured living pattern. Zebras are not used to be close to humans compared to a horse. According to Brubecker and Koss research, zebra will tend to escape from humans if through the 37 meters. As quoted from a journal Evolutionary Constraints, on equid domestication, comparison of flight initiation, distances of wild horses, Equus caballus ferus, and plains zebras, Equus quagga. Zebras' tendencies to keep their distance from humans 
is suspected to be an adaptation of zebra hunting since 24,000 years ago. Ethno archaeological research found in local folktales that being created in 19th and 20th century, zebra hunting by hunter and food collector in eastern and southern Africa using poison archery. Brubaker and Koss argued archery usually hit a target within a distance of 25 until 30 meters, fit with their findings of the zebra to maintain a distance to humans that's about 37 meters.